Good afternoon, we're here in downtown Raleigh. Look at all these blessings that take home wealth. David said, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of our life without hell. Yeah, here in downtown Raleigh. Goodness and mercy. This is the homeless people around here. Goodness and mercy today. Yep. They're looking for food. And their brother and your preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is coming to Jesus. Amen. It's just coming to Jesus. That anchor in the storm. Yes, he's the an anchor in the storm. My brother might sing that for us today. Brother, could you sing that song anchor in the storm? He might sing it this week. Brother, could you sing that song anchor in the storm? Just one time. It's been three months. I've been asking. This is a year. Just one time. Just one word. I even asked you two more. You guys for three. I'm going to ask one bird. That's the day. Next Sunday? Okay. All right. Next Sunday, he's going to sing that in the store. We heard it. We heard it. Everybody heard that. All right. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And hallelujah, man. It is so good. Good all the food coming, man. Makes you, make you happy. Good. The Bible says, don't taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see. All right. Taste and see. Look how good God is. So good all the time. All the time. The Bible says that he's like honey in the honeycomb. Honey in the honeycomb. Do you know how uh, Jewish people get their children to learn the Bible? How Jewish people get their children to learn the Bible? They'll take their children and have them read a verse of the scripture. Then they'll stick their finger in the honey jar and let the kid taste the honey. And then they'll let them read another scripture, and then let them get some more honey. But every time they read the word, they say, I'm going to get that sweet, it's like sweet like honey. That's what the amen. As you get amen, as you get around God, as you get around God, dead things come to life. Maybe there's some dead things in the past that you've forgotten about, and now, but you said, man, I wish I could get that job, I wish I could get my art talent, my uh, writing talent, I wish that this drama abilities I got, auto mechanic, I would like to see that auto mechanic shop I thought of when I was a young man. Well, the Bible says that dead things come to life. Jesus can resurrect dead things. The Bible says that the tomb of Lazarus, a man dead for four days. Lazarus was stone cold dead, dead. I mean, they said, don't open that tomb up. He's gonna be smelling. You won't smell some rotten guy. Don't open that, don't open that tomb up, Jesus. Don't open it. But the Bible says Jesus, God with us, God in the flesh. God, he spoke to the tomb. He spoke to Lazarus. First he's going to blow away the stone. Move the stone out the way. Get that stone out the way of my brothers and sisters that are down here in the city of Raleigh. The stones are in their way. That's over their heart. Move away the stone. And after Jesus called to move away the stone, and the people knew that Lazarus, the dead man, was in the grave, Jesus said, Lazarus, come out to a dead man. He said, Lazarus, come out. And the Bible says that dead man, uh, Jesus gave life and he came out the tomb. Lazarus came out the tomb, hopping out of there. He had grave clothes on him. He couldn't, he couldn't walk straight. He was kind of hopping out the tomb. He heard Jesus call. And when Jesus called Lazarus, Lazarus had to come out. He couldn't stay in the same place he was. When Jesus, as he called our life today, things will change as we ask him. The Bible says, ask and you will see. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be open. Oh, my, 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 my. Let the Lord God come to you today. Let him come to you. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will be added. Amen. Here in America, we try to get everything first. Then we say, well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to God later on. I'm going to get it. Yeah, but the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God. Let me get that. Amen. And everything will be added unto you. Not subtracted, not divided, added to you. If I get God, the Bible says God has cattle on a thousand hills. All this belongs to God. Now if I ask God a question, I ask, don't you think God can do it? I mean, there's nothing impossible to God. Good God is Israel. 
Your, your God, the Martin Luther King Jr., your God that, you know, that delivered the people, delivered the Israelites, and delivered all of us. Each of us, when we were in the good things that we couldn't get out of, it was only when we called on Jesus. And I remember somebody called on Jesus. Yeah, the name of Jesus. Getting ready to get into a fight in a storm with lightning all around me, doing stuff I shouldn't have been, saying, God, if you let me out of this one more time, let one more time, God, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down. in Hong Kong that I didn't see coming. I stepped off and the bus was right in front of my face and a guy pulled me back in time. And that bus went by an inch from my face. That was in Hong Kong. The, the traffic's opposite. We're used to looking like this and this. In Hong Kong, you gotta look at this and then this. But I didn't look that day and I almost got killed. Another time when I was in Grand Canyon, I fell into the Colorado River. Rapids were coming. Those rapids would kill you. 